Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of the series how to make a 2 player obby. In this part we will create a request pair GUI instead of automatically pairing with your friend. Before we get started into scripting we need to make a request GUI and 3 new remote events. Let's make the remote events, we're going to scroll down, open up the replicated storage, open up the folder and add in 3 new remote events. Once we got our remote events, the first remote event will be called pair request. The second remote event will be called show request GUI and the third remote event will be called request response. To save some time for this video because this is like my fifth time recording this video, um, I made a request GUI already and this is how it looks like. I'm going to link the GUI model in the description below so you can go ahead join it and just ungroup it and put it in your starter GUI. Now let's update two of our scripts. We're going to update our main brain first and our server script service. Hey, so um, I actually had to stop the video for you guys to give you a warning ahead that I realized only at the end of the scripting and all that, that I made a mistake in the main brain script and um, I didn't realize it again until I played the game. So I would recommend, I would highly recommend joining the discord for the script and just everything in general that you see in this video would be in my discord in the description below so go ahead join that or you can even um just type in the url the discord server that is on the screen right now so go ahead please join that to save a lot of time from um, because of this video because nine minute video for me honestly that is too much and that's what i don't want to do to you guys so please um Go ahead, join that Discord server to skip this whole thing. Everything is in there, and I am very sorry for this long video. So now in this script, we're gonna add three of our new remote events. Let's add the first one: local pair request event equals replicated storage colon wait for child remote events colon wait for child pair request local show request GUI equals replicated storage colon wait for child remote events colon wait for child show request GUI local request response equals replicated storage colon wait for child remote events colon wait for child request response we're also going to need to add a local players equals game colon gate service players so now under local pair we're going to create a pair request event dot on server event colon connect function in the bracket we're gonna have player comma target if not player or not target then return end if paired square brackets player or paired square brackets target then return end now the last line we're gonna write is show request gui colon fire client target comma player now that we made this we're gonna scroll all the way until we see pair event dot on server event and we're gonna change this up a bit let's actually delete this whole thing and in our function in the brackets right here we're gonna change it to target comma accepted comma requester if not requester or not target then return end if accepted then if paired square brackets requester or paired square brackets target then return and paired square brackets requester equals to target and paired square brackets target equals to requester before we continue we're actually going to go to our function called highlight player we're going to copy it control c or command c we're going to delete it and paste it in here we can continue writing and we're going to do highlight player requester comma color three dot from rgb zero comma zero comma two five five or blue and now highlight player target comma color three dot from rgb two five five comma zero comma zero which is red four underscore comma plr in pairs players get players do remove event colon fire client plr also make sure this says pairs 
Now let's write two more lines. Pair event colon fire client requester comma target pair event colon fire client target comma requester. We are done with our main brain. Now let's open up starter player, starter player scripts, and let's open up our pair and unpair handler. Now in here, we need to include our three remote events and instead of writing it all again, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it over here. So now we have our three remote events in the pair unpair handler. Now let's change something real quickly. On line 46, instead of pair event, we're gonna have pair request event. Now under our unpair button dot visible, we're gonna include our request GUI. Local request GUI equals player GUI colon wait for child request GUI. Local frame equals request GUI colon wait for child frame. Local accept BTN equals frame wait for child accept BTN or button local decline btn equals frame wait for child decline btn and local request sender equals frame wait for child request sender now let's do request gui dot enabled equals false local current requester equals nil after we've done that let's scroll all the way down in our script make a new line over here and now let's write show request GUI dot on client event colon connect function and in the brackets we're gonna have requesting player current requester equals requesting player request sender dot text equals quotation marks do you want to pair with and we're gonna do space dot dot space requesting player dot name Let's do the last line, request GUI dot enabled equals true. Let's make a new line, accept button dot mouse button one click, colon connect, function, if current requester, then request response, colon fire server, true, comma, current requester, Request GUI dot enabled equals false. Now let's do the last piece of code. Decline button dot mouse button one click colon connect function. If current requester then request response colon fire server false comma current requester. And then the last piece of code, request GUI dot enabled equals false. We are officially done writing our code. All of this should work, should technically work. If I didn't mess up or I don't see any errors right now, but let's try it out. Now that we're in game, as you can see, this is player one and this is player two. So now I'm going to request my pair to player two. As you can see on the player two side, we see, do you want to pair with player one? We can either accept or decline. So let's decline right now. As you can see, it is not paired. And if I request again, click accept. Okay, so I realized that this should be request response instead of pair event. Um, if I accept now, everything should work as planned as you can see this works we have the unpair button show up i can unpair of course and i can decline nothing pairs i can accept and there you go we have um now officially been paired thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you learned something from this video and i hope you enjoyed it Maybe some of you guys didn't because of how long this is and I apologize for that. But all of my scripts are going to be in the Discord in the description below. So go ahead, join that Discord. It'll save you a lot of time. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.